Yo, what's up, fam? How have you been? How you doing, man? We're back again with another video, another reaction, and we're checking out um, fantastic hip hop. Why are all of hip hop just turned on Drake for good? And hold on, let me read the description for it. With everything that has went down recently, <clears throat> uh, Drake has swallowed his image in hip hop. Meanwhile, Kendrick Lamar has never looked greater to his peers. Yeah, man, let's find out more, man. Let's find out more. Hold on. Yeah, I think that. Now, with everything that's been going on between Kendrick Lamar and Drake, yeah. aside from their own personal differences, the diss tracks they have released, and what this back and forth means for the entirety and, of... Hold on, I never got to ask you about uh, your thoughts on the pop-out. Uh, how do uh, how do you feel about the pop-out, the people that were brought out, and the performances, and everything? that Did you live to the height that you expected? Is it going... Did it go, like... You guys expect it, you know what I'm saying, man? Let me know in the comments, you know what I'm saying, man? And how do you feel like, uh, has it changed the image of hip-hop somehow, you know what I'm saying? Is hip-hop uh, gonna change because of that, or has it changed because of that? And do you think it has affected Drake's career or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Let me know, man, let me know. Your thoughts. Everything that's been going on between Kendrick Lamar and Drake, aside from their own personal differences, the diss tracks they have released, and what this back and forth Ooh. means for the entirety of hip hop, one of the most eye opening aspects of this whole feud that is going to change the way both of their careers move forward is how they are judged through the eyes of their peers. And after Kendrick Lamar's pop out concert and his Not Like Us video shoot, Seeing the entire West Coast, from Tyler the Creator to Dr. Dre, stand alongside Kendrick and support what he is doing at the moment, to even other artists in the crowd like Rick Ross or even The Weeknd and SZA, oh. it looks like when it comes to the biggest artists in music, what Baby feels like King. everyone had... Which artists did you expect to see there, but when they man? I expected to see Baby Kim. Man. I wanted them to perform for many times. Man. It looks like when it comes to the biggest artists in music, what feels like everyone has done nothing but support Kendrick Lamar and champion what he is doing at the moment, but when it comes to Drake, it's like every time he looks back you at talk. his corner, there are just less and less rappers standing beside him, and while this may seem insane that artists no longer want to work with or even be associated with the OVO rapper in any way, shape, or form, when you understand why this is, you may just agree with them. Now, while Drake has been under the most scrutiny of his entire career at this very moment in time, the problems he has had growing in hip-hop with other rappers have been building for a while, and this is because as his career has went on and his fame has grew to more astounding levels, mm. he has went against some of the most coveted principles in hip-hop, and not in a way that pushed the art form forward and helped create a better future for the genre, but actually in a way that did quite the opposite. Now, what I... And the question that I'm asking myself, do people actually like Kendrick Lamar or they actually hate Drake, you know what I'm saying, man, or is both? Oh, what, wow, man? That's the question that I'm asking myself right now. Future for the genre, but actually in a way that did quite the opposite. And I saw somewhere someone saying, like, uh, the reason why many people are against Drake is because Drake is not a rapper, he's a pop artist, you know what I'm saying? And he's been wearing this thing, people feeling like he's a rap artist, and yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Now, what I am referring to by this is really the way Drake's okay. hip-hop, and not in a way that pushed the art form forward and helped create a better future for the genre, but actually in a way that did quite the opposite. Mm -hmm. Now, what I am referring to by this is really the way Drake's entire demeanor changed towards the late 2010s as he went from the guy who was making music that, while extremely popular and accessible, did still have a lot of integrity, passion, and identity behind it to just somebody who threw out this care and respect for his craft. You know, this, who, and as he went from the guy who was making music that, while extremely popular and accessible, did still have a lot of integrity, passion, and identity behind it. If you know, you know. If you know who this guy is, man. He is just somebody who threw out this care and respect for his craft, and only began to make decisions based on what could help his project sell the most copies and rack up the most streaming numbers. Now you can see this very clearly reflected in just how the length in Drake's albums increased from something like Nothing Was The Same in 2013, which his standard version had 13 songs, to something like Scorpion, which had a whopping 25 tracks in 2018. Yeah. And it's not just that Drake was making his albums longer and letting the quality go down as a sheer result of letting these projects run for too much time. 
But looking deeper into this, what has really turned so many of the greatest creative minds in rap against him is what he has done to not just make these albums so extended, but by the very method he has puppeteered in order to make some of his biggest charting hits throughout the entirety of this era in his career, which spans all the way to this very day. Now, when we go through Drake's catalog ever since the quality of his music started to decline rapidly, despite all the number ones he has made and all of the viral moments every single one of his projects gives us, when you look beyond all the hype and noise, there is no musical identity Drake has anymore, and while most of the best rappers never get put inside... You make music, music that pass for one of his projects gives us. When you look beyond all the hype and noise, there is no musical identity Drake has anymore. And while most of the best rappers never get put inside of a box anyway because of their brilliance and I don't know what does that mean, man. What does that mean? Like there's no identity that music has, man. I don't know what does that mean. Like it, it doesn't fall under any genre, or it doesn't have substance. Message or something. I don't know. What does that mean, man? And while most of the best rappers never get put, there is one of his projects gives us. When you look beyond all the hype and noise, there is no musical identity Drake has anymore. And while most of the best rappers never get put inside of a box anyway because of their brilliance and ability to break down barrier after barrier. With Drake, this lack of a real musical label at this point is because of something much different. Now, with most other rappers that are near or on Drake's level, they'll try to expand their artistry and find a new wave to not just grow their music through, but also to push themselves forward as an individual. But with the way Drake creates music, he does not do this same type of reflection, and instead, he spends his time searching for what waves other artists are making and then determines which sounds he should attach his brand to to help push himself forward. Now, this is why Drake is always... Drake? The guy who stole my boss? Wait for what? Other artists are making and then determines which sounds he should attach his brand oh, to to help push shit. himself forward. Now this is why Drake is always running to work with young and buzzing artists, whether it was somebody like Lil Baby or even the Migos back then, or even artists now like Lil Yachty oh, Eat and Tizo Touchdown. Because Drake knows that by teaming up with artists like these, we're able to create waves that turn the tides in music, it will Hold on, does are the artists that he future create waves for him or he creates waves for the artists? I don't know. How do you view it, man? Do you feel like they're the ones who are making waves for him or he's making the waves for them? Supplement for the creativity that he does not have. This is also why Drake has been able to release a new plan for the creativity that he does not have. Damn. This is also why Drake has been able to release a new project in every single year for almost a decade at this point, because without having to rethink how he wants to approach the sound of an album like a Travis Scott does, or without thinking about how to continue his personal story like Kendrick Lamar has had to, Drake can just run right off the merits of other artists' visions, and while this has kept Drake relevant year after year, as he is always jumping on buzzing trends, this is also what's turned Man. almost every single artist he has ever worked with into his enemy. Now, to take a look back in time with some of the artists Drake has major beef with right now, Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, The Weeknd, Future, Metro Boomin... Shut up and go make drums, man. Oh, you got Asa Rock, you got Rick Ross, you got Kendrick Lamar, you got Future, you got The Weeknd. And a major beef with right now. Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, The Weeknd, Future, Metro Boomin, and ASAP Rocky have all once been very close to Drake in years past, and Drake's relationships with all of these names was not just a typical industry friendship. But what Drake did when working with these names was strategically take something from them to try to inherit into his own identity going forward. Now, man, whether this was the cold and somber melodic style song, of the man. weak Aaron into his own identity, it really go. Go. now whether this was the cold and somber melodic style of the weekend that was used throughout so much of Take Care to make that album the landmark that it became, or was the swagger of ASAP Rocky, which made Drake way more comfortable when it came to approaching club records, or the bravado and stature of a Rick Ross, which made Drake feel like he could rap like somebody who is a lot more feared than he actually is, or just the general grip on Atlanta day. and the entirety of hip hop culture that future had that pretty much Drake tried to mirror. Pluto. Look at all of the biggest artists who have turned on Drake. One of the main reasons these guys don't like him anymore is because they are on the other side of where all of the younger artists around him are at in the current day, and they have seen that a working relationship with him, despite what people will say, and always praise him for putting artists on and giving them their biggest hit songs. At the end of the day, is just as beneficial to Drake because by doing just about anything with him. Artists are charging the battery that he can't charge himself, which for all intensive purposes, 
Richards is keeping his career in power and just tricking the public into thinking that he is this versatile music wizard, which after doing a little research, you can see that this is just a sh- So does this mean like, if Drake was to do an album without any features, like 13 songs, 15 songs, just Drake, it wouldn't sell like the other albums? Do you think that, man? Do you think if a Drake was to like release a solo album, man, no features, nothing at all, nothing at all. You know, no production from uh, uh, famous producers. Maybe just, you know, yeah. Do you think he wouldn't sell or do you think he's gonna still sell like he does right now? This versatile Let me know. music wizard, which after doing a little research, you can see that this is just a sheer and utter lie. Now, between the shallow way Drake creates music, and the way that he has morphed the art of album making into this sort of cheap commercial ploy that's meant to be a sensational piece of content that will engage the masses instead of actually resonating with people on any sort of a deep level, which at the end of the day is what the goal of all great music is on some level. As this type of album building method has caused Drake to always sneak diss all of these names who have distanced themselves from him, and as a result have stirred the pot and are really the reason why any of this happened to Drake in the first place. All in all, between this loss of genuine artistry and the way that Drake has attacked and taunted hip-hop legends and icons within the culture, whether it's Pharrell Williams, who despite being one of the most beloved and respected people in the entire music industry, Drake has taunted over and over again, or of course, Tupac, whose jewelry he holds up like a trophy, and whose legacy he plays around with like a prop, which the entire world saw on the extremely distasteful tailor-made freestyle. When you put all this together, it's this loss of any genuine care and respect for the lineage of the genre he profits off that has soiled Drake's image to so many other rappers and has made him one of the most hated men in hip-hop today, and maybe... Drake would not be as disrespected as he is today if he didn't always make it so easy for his appearance to just be made fun of. And this is why today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that's disrupting- Man, you can't just sneak in and add, man. You can't just sneak in and add, man. Oh, man. Manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free shipping when you use promo code FANTASTIC at checkout. That's 20% off, plus free international shipping with promo code FANTASTIC at Manscaped.com. Yeah, and now, let's Manscaped. get back to the video. So now on the other side of this coin, when it comes to why rappers don't just respect, but love Kendrick Lamar, it's because he's everything that Drake isn't. Now where Drake does everything to appeal to as many people as possible, Kendrick Lamar only does everything to impress one person, himself, and ironically, this has garnered him the most respect, as in a world where it seems like more musical grifters have chased the type of short-term success that Drake has been dominating through. Kendrick has served as a breath of fresh air in the music world, as he has stood in the face of everything wrong in the industry and has redefined just how authentic and cutting-edge a superstar can still be in hip-hop. Now, whether this is because of his studio albums, which have all changed the status quo within their own way, as Kendrick has redefined how rappers can express themselves as a whole and expanded on how well thought out, lyrically profound, and musically dynamic concept albums can be, and with every single one of his records giving him more and more respect in the rap world, as he hasn't just inspired artists to show out with their best works possible, but he has also collaborated with creatives from so many different eras and of all sizes throughout his career to not benefit from their this style like in a manner where he is biting off them and using their creativity as a crutch for the lack of his own, but instead, every time Kendrick teams up with another musician, he's given them a platform to show off what makes them special and infuse their signature skills into whatever body of work he is making and whatever story he is trying to convey. Now, because Kendrick's collaborative ability has directly resulted in rappers releasing some of the best feature verses of the entire 2010s, he has been known as one of the best artists to work with in the entire industry, no matter who he is in the studio with, because he doesn't just take an artist's worth and try to work with them just so he can take what they're doing and be the one to receive applause from it. But he genuinely understands the worth of every creative he crosses paths with and will team up with somebody to make genuinely great art that will change both of their lives and the people listening to it. And now, aside from having all of this respect and goodwill within the hip-hop community for all these years, Kendrick has taken everything to the next level, and he's managed to become even more loved than ever when he took this respect and the superstar status he has attained, and in the most recent chapter of his career, has just went head-on in an all-out beef with Drake. Now, for calling out Drake with the force that pretty much no other rapper ever could, 
On top of being respected for his musical greatness, Kendrick has now been able to put Drake in his place and after years of what feels like exploiting hip-hop's worth and milking the genre like a cash cow and just because of the sheer force Kendrick came at him with and ended up humiliating Drake and sinking his reputation to this all-time low that he's at right now. The perfect blend of artistic integrity and authenticity and now the fact that Kendrick was pretty much the voice of most other rappers as he just told Drake that he can no longer get away with what he has been doing. It has cemented his place as one of the most loved rappers. Damn. When this picture was taken, man. Damn, man. I, I see a lot of faces right here, man. I see a lot of faces right here, man. This is dope, man. This is really, really insane. This this key crazy, man. Yeah, there it is, man. I don't know. Yo, oh, yeah, there it is, man. She man, made him a memory for a lot of time. First period, man. and at the end of the day, Kendrick Lamar will always remain within these graces no matter what direction he goes in. Because as a result of the way he so freely expresses himself in any way that he Wait, feels, man. especially right Stand now in an industry where it feels like so many artists are just lying to themselves, this trait makes him stand out as a beacon of inspiration to all rappers new and old who are trying to innovate their craft and be the best artist they can be. And now by seeing Kendrick Hendrick, the biggest L of his career, and put him into a downfall that we are all witnessing right now, it looks like these sentiments will only reign stronger in the future. So all in all, when we look at why Team Drake looks like this, he had Kendrick Lamar as the entire genre supporting him and everything he has done in this beef. It all comes down to the fact that at the end of the day, Kendrick Lamar is a true creative that embodies everything hip-hop stands for and so much more on a scale that nobody comes close to, meanwhile with Drake. At this point, he is just a flimsy brand who chases trend yeah. after trend and is desperate to amass the most streaming numbers possible and as a result of this, as a result of using artists like Stepping Stones and taking their style and leaving them in the dust and as a result of disrespecting hip-hop culture by flaunting legends jewelry and items like trophies in such a distasteful way, rappers will forever despise Drake. So let me know, do you think the respect Kendrick Lamar and Drake get by their peers is justified? I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and a huge thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link in the description or the pinned comment to check them out. Now if you want to see one rapper that is still on Team Drake as he absolutely despises Kendrick Lamar and find out why their feud may just be the next major thing to take over the rap world, check out the suggested video. Lupe! Man, I fuck with Lupe, man. Lupe is... Don't mess with Lupe, man. Hold on. I didn't mean to click on that. Yeah, man. That's it, man. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole thing, man. I'm... And, yeah, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace and love. Yes, sir.